All right, so say you created a whole bunch of 3D parts and you want to actually put them together into a whole cohesive uh, design. Um, that's kind of the next step of modeling things using this computer-aided design software. Um, so previous videos, we built this little uh, toy car. Um, it's got axles for wheels. It's got the outline for wheels. We've got some holes cut out. Um, it looks good to me. I could take this design. I could, I could send this design to a CNC router or a laser cutter or a 3D printer and actually 3D print this thing. But if I want to see what this actually looks like in uh, with a little more detail, I need something called an assembly. So, for example, I've got this profile's body of a car here, but it's missing its wheels. And I've actually got those wheels modeled in a different uh, on-shape document. Let's take a look at how to use these assembly tools. Um, by default, OnShape opens up a part studio and an assembly window here. If you click this little plus sign down here, there's options for creating additional assemblies and, and part studios if you have a lot of different parts that you're working from. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to assembly and you'll see um, it kind of looks the same, but you get a different set of menu options up here. Uh, what we want to get started with is the insert menu. So I'm going to click insert and what you'll see is um, the first thing that pulls up is the current document, all the parts that are in your current document. Well, in this document, all I've got is the profile of my car. So I'm just going to click that car, um, go over here, click somewhere, and that's just going to insert that part into my assembly. Now, the only other things I need to add to this design are wheels. And so um, I've got that in a different document. And you can actually get to, if you go to other documents, um, any designs that you've worked on, um, you can access any public designs. You can insert parts from any public designs um, or any you know designs that have been shared with you by other you know students or people that you're working with. Um, you can get to a lot of different things. So I'm going to go to my on shape, and I've actually got um, another document here, a few other models. Um, but there's actually a model here for the wheel and axles that I have access to, and so I'm going to just click that wheel and axle. Um, and it's already an assembly that's been put together. And I know that I am going to need, let's see, one, two, three, four wheels. And so there I've got all the parts that I need to assemble. I've got a car body, I've got wheels and axles. Um, now what we got to do is actually put this together. And so on shape assembles things using things called mates. A mate is just a way of joining uh, two things together. So for example, if I select a fastened mate, uh, all that does is, you know, you read the description, it says remove all degrees of freedom between two parts. It's gonna connect two parts together so that they don't move. So for example, if I selected a fastened mate here, and what it's going to act, ask you to select is what's called a mate connector. And what you'll see is you mouse over different parts of these sketches, this, this funky little circle that uh, gets pulled up. Um, that's actually different parts of your uh, assembly parts that you can match up together. So if I want this wheel here to be inserted in that uh, hole here for the axle, I want to line up. that point here with the outside of the hole for the axle. If I click those two things, I should line those up. If things don't get lined up correctly the first time, you can always rotate around, around, uh, things around until it looks like it works. I'll hit the green check mark and that should save that. And so if I do that, I'll kind of treat these as one big part, which is not exactly what I want. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that fasten mate. Now I do want this axle to be fastened to my wheel. So if I select fastened here, Let me flip that around so it's pointing in the right direction. That right there is, is should be an assembly by itself. But I want this axle to be able to rotate in that 
uh, slot for the axle. And so there's actually something called a revolute mate that'll allow um, a cylinder and a slot that that cylinder fits into to, to rotate relative to each other. So I'm going to select revolute mate. Um, the process is still the same. You may need to you know zoom out, zoom in, rotate around until you can select the correct things. If I select that, put it there, hit the green check mark. I should move everything together um, so that it's it's connected. And so you can see there's a little bit of a gap there, which I probably don't want. So I'm actually going to undo that. Control Z is your friend. I'm going to try that again. If you don't get the uh, correct make connectors, um, please feel free to Control Z and try it again. That ah, looks better. Um, now, one thing that can be pretty handy when you're assembling a lot of parts is to have one of these parts fixed in space so it can't move around. Like all these parts, if I click them, they move around independently of each other. Um, that's not exactly what I want. Um, so I'm going to actually click the body of this guitar, If you, this car. Uh, if you right-click, there's an option here to fix. And if I fix this car, it won't move. And it'll let everything else move relative to it. Um, so I can go through the process and do the rest of these. Let's do that real quick. That's going to line that up. That's going to be fastened together. I'm going to select another Revolute Mate here. So these things can revolve. So that looks like it's going backwards into the car. Flip it around. Yeah, looks like it's working. Just kind of go around here and do the same thing with the rest of these guys. Got an extra wheel. Let me get rid of that guy. So, like I said, it can be sometimes tricky to select the correct make connectors to get parts to lined up. Um, if you have trouble with that, it's easy to you know Control Z or hit the red X, undo, and try it again. Um, it's easy enough to get that messed up. It, the software is trying to automatically uh, connect parts together, which it can, it's usually pretty good with that, but sometimes it gets something crazy every now and then. Um, so if you have trouble with it, uh, just keep working at it, and eventually you will get it. So that looks like the last one. Um, so there I've got my toy car um, assembled. Now, a cool thing about Onshape is that um, everything in this assembly is based on what I do in the parts studio. So, for example, you know, looking at this, my car is blue, my wheels are blue. I, that doesn't look too great to me. Let me go back to this parts studio. Um, I'm going to select the car body from this parts list. I'm not going to change the appearance of this. I can change the material that it's made out of. I can change a lot of different features about um, this car. So I'm going to click Edit Appearance and change the color, and I want a red sports car. Uh, so if I go back to the assembly, it should automatically update that based on what I changed in the parts studios. So that's a nice thing. So you don't have to recreate the assembly every time you go back and change and modify the part that you're working from. Um, so do check out you know what these other uh, mates do. Um, honestly, like the Fasten Mate and the Revolute Mate, that's a majority of what you do be working with. Um, but some of these other mates can come in useful at times. So check them out.